We are now joined by Sandy Matz. Sandy is a member of the National Council of Jewish Women Michigan and also committee chairperson of an event called An Afternoon of Music for All Ages. Sandy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. So Sandy, can you tell us a little bit about um, what the National Council of Jewish Women Michigan is? Of course. National Council of Jewish Women Michigan is a grassroots organization of volunteers. And through our advocacy and community service, we work to protect the rights of children and women and families. And that's why we're having this family program this Sunday. So tell us a little bit about the concert event um, that the organization is putting it on. The concert is this Sunday, um, August 21st. It's at Temple Share Shalom in West Bloomfield. And it's called An Afternoon of Music for All Ages. So it's children friendly. And the entertainment is going to be the Detroit Youth Choir. And a lot of people have heard of them. They are a fabulous group of young people. And they even came in second place with um, the TV show that everybody knows about, um, America's Got Talent. So uh -huh. we're so excited to have them. How did they become um, such a staple for this event? How did you decide to choose them to come and entertain? Well, we actually chose them a couple of years ago when they were, um, when they came in second place and we had heard about them, they travel all over the place. But because of COVID, we couldn't have them. So we rescheduled them. And then because of COVID, we couldn't have them. So as they say, the third time is the charm and we're hoping that this performance on Sunday will actually happen. And um, it's open to the public. There are tickets. You can be a patron for $75 and sit right up front or a regular ticket is $36. Children tickets um, from the ages of six to 19 are only $10 and uh, five and under is free. So we're really looking forward to it. And I'll also tell you that Jay Towers um, is going to be our MC. What is the biggest takeaway you hope people will have from this event, you know, coming to see everybody singing and all the dedication to it? I hope they take away how powerful children can be when they're up on stage singing. Besides having beautiful voices, they are so poised and they are just, they're so wonderful. And as National Council of Jewish Women, not only are we displaying these children, but we do a lot of things for the youth in our community. And I'll just tell you about a few of our programs. Um, we have a back to school store. And um, this year we just took care of 900 children from the city of Detroit. We gave them jackets and pants and shirts and school supplies and a book and a toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, so they can start their school year in the right way. Before COVID, these children would come to us in a school building and they would actually shop for these items without paying, but they would have a personal shopper and they would walk around and pick a jacket and hat and mittens. Our mittens are donated from Mittens for Detroit. Our socks are donated by Bombas. And um, we just have all this wonderful merchandise for the children. We're hoping next year that we'll be in person again. We also do a backpack project for homeless children in Oakland County. Believe it or not, there are homeless children in Oakland County. So we do um, give about mm, almost 1,500 backpacks to, to children in Oakland County. We also have a literacy project where um, we tutor in an elementary school and we read to children. We have another program called Wrapped in Love and we have volunteers that come to our office every Monday and they make fleece blankets. And these blankets go to children who are either in the hospital or um, in foster care system. So we just do a tremendous amount for children in our community and it's through fundraisers like this um, Detroit Youth Choir that we are able to do these projects. So I know you said um, due to the pandemic, you weren't able to really take part in this whole event. 
Um, was there anything else that you did during the pandemic that kind of gave back to the community? We, we still did everything. We still did the backpacks. We just didn't have our volunteers come and pack them because we couldn't be close together. We still did our back to school store, but we packed the items for the children and we gave them to social service agencies and they distributed because the kids couldn't come. So we tried to do all of our projects, all of our programs. We did a lot of Zoom programs so that we would keep our volunteers and our community safe, but we still wanted to give back and, and work on all our projects. And we're also an advocacy organization and we still do a lot in the community on, um, on advocacy. Well, that is wonderful. Um, is there a website um, that our viewers can visit to buy the tickets to get to this event? Absolutely, if they go to ncjwmi, Dot org. There'll be a link to purchase tickets. Like I said, it's at Temple Shear Shalom, 3999 Walnut Lake Road in West Bloomfield. And we would love everybody to attend. It's for families. It's for people without families. Everybody will have a great time. Well, thank you so much, Sandy, for this opportunity to talk. Uh, I wish you the best of luck this weekend. It's a, it's a great thank event. You. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.